Hi, and thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this demo. My name is Tony Johnson with Eternity. I'm the Federal Sales Manager for the Department of Defense. This is part three of a four-part series. In this demo, we're going to focus on proactive end-user application problem detection and alerting. Since Eternity can monitor virtually any function or event within any application for all of your users, it automatically generates SLA baselines. When performance deviates from these SLA baselines, the system will automatically detect the deviation and alert you by creating an incident which becomes immediately visible on the dashboard. The system can also send an email alerting the appropriate team members of the incident or open a help desk ticket automatically in systems like Remedy. Your help desk team is now working proactively to solve issues as they occur rather than waiting for end users to call and report them. We can drill right down into an incident's details. This provides us with critical information about what's going on for that particular problem. We can see information about the application that's affected or the device that's having the problem, whether it's a slow performing function within an application, a blue screen of death, an application crash, or a slow machine boot. For an application, we can quickly see which particular screens or functions are performing poorly, to what extent they're violating their SLAs, and provide detailed information on the magnitude of impact to our user population. We immediately know whether it's just one or a multitude of users that are impacted by an incident. We can see what locations, what department, what subnet addresses, and so on are being affected by the problem. We can also get a breakdown listing of which users are performing this function and of those which are affected by the problem, allowing us to immediately determine the magnitude of impact. In this particular case, we see all of these users are part of a VDI system. Eternity is not only going to proactively create an incident for us, it's going to classify the most likely underlying cause of the incident. The system examines all available data, including the attributes of the user's device, the CPU speed, memory, I.O., the applications that the user is currently running, and the applications that are installed. It then provides us with a graded list of the top candidates that may be causing this particular problem. In this case, it's the underlying hypervisor that's being shared by all of these users. Let's continue to investigate this a little further. For any user that's affected by this particular incident, we can drill down into what we call the endpoint dashboard. We can choose a segment of time where the problem occurred. The endpoint dashboard is going to provide us with a virtualized view of that user's device. You can see things like CPU utilization, physical memory utilization, disk and network I.O., both reads and writes, disk queue links, and virtual memory. We can see what applications are being executed by the end user. In this particular case, we see that there are physical memory issues. The machine is clearly having physical memory spikes. By clicking on the graph, we can see exactly what processes are utilizing that memory. We can also see for this device the hardware and software inventory to help us determine the attributes of that machine. The endpoint dashboard is very useful to support teams because it solves a couple of problems. The first being it's completely non-evasive. We don't have to bother the user. We don't have to go to their desktop. We don't have to remote to their machine in order to see this type of data. This allows the help desk team to get their job done easily without having to interfere with the end user's productivity. Oftentimes, the support person has to push an end user aside in order to sit down and take control of their device so they can troubleshoot a problem. Here, that's no longer the case. We have this wealth of data at our fingertips. We can get our job done and the user can maintain their productivity by still continuing to do their job. And consider this, by the time a support team member gets to the user's device, the information needed to troubleshoot that problem may no longer exist on that device. They may bring up task manager and look around and not see anything of value. They literally are forced to tell the user, call us back if it happens again and we'll take another crack at trying to troubleshoot the problem. With this dashboard, we're not only getting real-time data, it's also a time machine. We can go back in time to earlier today, yesterday, or the day before when a problem occurred in order to isolate and resolve it. By providing them with visibility they've never had before, your first line of support in many cases is able to solve issues without the need of costly escalations to your Tier 2 and Tier 3 support teams. Now in this particular case, you see that this user's VDI system is spiking memory, but the cause, the classification we saw earlier for that particular issue, wasn't the user's VDI guest system. It was the underlying hypervisor. So here we can actually click and drill down and get to the resources for that hypervisor, and what we see is that it's spiking CPU. This is what's affecting all of those users that are currently having an application performance problem. 
So we've isolated the problem to this particular hypervisor and we've ruled out the application itself as being the issue. This will allow your VDI team to further investigate and resolve the problem. This concludes our demo on proactive end user application performance problem detection and alerting. In the final demo of this four part series, we're going to explore how Eternity can help establish quantifiable SLA baselines and then help you manage those SLAs. I'll see you in the next video.